This demonstration shows a single cell RNA analysis workflow consisting of secondary analysis and interpretation of results using Illumina Connected Analytics Through the ICA workflow highlighted are the data generation, secondary analysis, and interactive analysis of the data. Let's go ahead and enter the project, which includes example data that was recently analyzed using Dragon. Builder link pipelines from published bundles, including the Dragon single cell RNA pipeline and then select the XML Configuration tab to define inputs and parameters. Some of the required inputs for this pipeline include the user reference or analysis name, FASTQs or BAMs, reference genome, and annotated gene file or GTFs. Pipeline builders can define which input files and parameters are exposed to users, including controlling required fields. With Analysis Setup, select Start New Analysis. Pipelines can also be set up and run via the Command Line Interface and Applications Program Interface, if desired. View the status and runtime of the analysis in the Analysis page of ICA Flow. Analysis of the pipeline was previously completed. Select the Finished Run to view the results. Analysis results and output files, like the single cell metrics, are viewable within the platform and seamlessly loaded into a downstream analysis application, which is shown later in ICA Bench. With secondary analysis with Dragon complete, post process and visualize results in an interactive manner to begin placing data in a biological context. ICA Bench interactively computes on data using popular scripting languages like R and Python, as well as write interactive graphical apps using R Shiny, all within a secure, collaborative Jupyter Lab Notebooks environment. This is an interactive application that was developed by an Illumina bioinformatician in the ICA Bench environment for clustering, identifying cell types, differential expression analysis, and visualizing single cell RNA data. It was designed using RShiny and provides a step-by-step -step guide presented to an end user with a simple interface to process their output files from the Dragon single cell RNA pipeline. This app allows users to bring in data from ICA or offline, characterize cell populations within samples, and create customizable reports with publication quality images. Starting with cell selection, down select the number of cells by dragging the slider filters. Note that the QC plots on the right adjust accordingly. Select Next to apply the filter. Then, in Feature Selection, choose the Feature Identification method and the number of features to plot, as well as the number of features to label. Under PCA, the Principal Component Analysis is run based on Feature Selection, and results are plotted automatically. For cluster, use UMAP or TSNE methods to reduce dimensions on selected features and cluster them to identify distinct subpopulations within samples. Next, in Cell Marker, find differentially expressed gene markers for all clusters to distinguish between subpopulations. Then, in Gene Explorer, paste in target genes and or select from the detected genes to visualize marker expression.
For cell type, assign cell type identity to clusters based on relative expression profiles. Finally, under Report, an HTML report is automatically generated using the plots created in each of the previous steps. This report is exportable and includes each of the plots in publication quality format. It can also be edited using the R Markdown box. This concludes the single cell RNA analysis workflow demo. Shown was how an ICA user runs samples through the Dragon Secondary Analysis Pipeline and feeds the results into an interactive analysis application built using RShiny.